Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys another Black Series figure from the most recent wave, and that one is BT1, or BT for short, um, and it is one of the droids that accompanies Dr. Aphra on some of her missions, and it is one of the uh, death droids, as people have started to call them. Um, so you've probably already seen my review over Triple Zero, the protocol droid. This one now is the astromech droid, and they are evil companions. Dr. Aphra isn't particularly evil, but these guys are. Um, and so they make for pretty good uh, comic relief in the comic books. Um, and I think that they're really cool. I think the concept's super neat. We haven't seen anything quite like that before. We've seen torture droids, but they're like faceless. These ones actually have character, uh, characters and personalities, so I really like that. But um, this one is number 88 in the series. He's not an exclusive anywhere. I found this one at my local vintage stock. So um, it's got just about the entire wave right now. And actually, I have almost the entire wave. Um, completed. Um, I need at this point, after this review, I need Dr. Aphra, that's it. Um, then I'll have the whole wave that has just come out. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look. I'm really excited to open this one up um, and see his cool features. Alrighty, guys, so here is BT, and he is a very large astromech. Um, we haven't had a whole lot of experience with astromech droids from the 6-inch line, so um, perhaps it's just me having my hands on another full-size astromech again that I feel like he's so large, but um, I think overall he looks really cool. He's this really dark gray. Um, there's, there's a shine to his metal, um, kind of like sparkles, actually, in the plastic, um, and so that looks really good overall with a lot of um, silver accenting and of course these um this orange arm which looks really good it's like a burnt orange arm and then he's got an, an eye and then this little blue light so that's about it for the color and then as well as this gun here but i think that it accents really really well with the black i think it looks great you also have one down here as well um but as you can tell he comes with some uh, some deadly weapons here he's got looks like a blaster a belt fed blaster um so i would not want to be messing with him and it is on a turret so that's really cool you can move around um, he's got a little piece on his head right here that I don't believe comes out, but it's, it's I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, and then he's got this, which looks like another large blaster type, and it does revolve a little bit. Um, you can tell with, with these, the way that they're built, um, you can, it looks like they come directly out of these panels. Um, and then when, you, when you're going to put it back up, the panels fold up. Um, now that's not a feature that this droid comes with um, because these are obviously too large to fit inside his actual head But I really like the way it looks. Um, I think it looks super cool Very very unique for an astromech droid and might I say that his face also does look pretty dastardly there um, I don't know. There's just something kind of maniacal about this maybe one orange eye um, If you twist his head his his center leg does um, come down which looks very good. It also has a little bit of orange accenting and so you can tilt the droid back and he can roll on all of his legs. Um, so that's a feature. I tend to not like the tilting ones very much uh, because you have to get the head just right for it to align with the leg. And like this one, as you can tell, is a little bit too far down. So you have to pull it up, but by the time you pull it up, it's too short. So you kind of got to work with it. Um, that part is a little bit annoying. Um, he does come with a couple extra pieces, which are, um, it looks like, this piece here, which I can't really tell what that is, to be honest. And then this one looks like some more like rockets or something. And I initially thought that they could be replaced with the head. They actually go right here on the arms. And so um, let's see if we can replace those really quick. Um, I say that, and I think just one of them replaces the arm. Um, both of the arms come off, but I just noticed that only one is going to fit. This other one is really long. Um, so it looks like it's actually going to fit in place of, oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm getting it backwards. This is the actual, like, pop-out part. This is where it goes in the arm, so never mind. Sometimes you almost need instructions with these things. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, so there you go. You got some more little pop-out things. He just looks like a killer droid at this moment. Um, really cool. I like that option. Um, just like, um... Triple Zero, he comes with kind of like normal legs and then like maniacal legs, just like he came with normal hands and maniacal hands. But um, overall, I think this is a really cool figure. Here's the top as well. He's got some paint. Um, and then on the back, which is really good. So, so in terms of articulation, we do have the moving weapons on the top that are articulated. 
His head does spin, but it is in conjunction with his foot, and then these feet um, move as well as the very, the legs move as well as the very bottom of the feet. So um, you have good, good articulation, any kind of articulation that you would like from an astrovec droid. Um, fantastic. I think that they, from bringing this from like paper concept to real life, I think they did a really, really good job. And he looks fantastic. So I'm really excited to add him next to triple um, zero. But let me know, guys, what you think about this figure in the comments below. And as always, have a fantastic day, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.